हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल इन टुडेज टॉपिक दैट इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ बोन बिफोर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ बोन आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस सम बेसिक पॉइंट ऑफ द ऑस्टियोलॉजी दैट इज डेफिनेशन ऑफ ऑस्टियोलॉजी देन इट्स सिनोनिम एंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ बोन ओके फर्स्ट वॉट इज ऑस्टियोलॉजी इट इज द साइंस विच डील्स विद द स्टडी ऑफ बोन्स सिनोनिम ऑफ बोन्स आर अकॉर्डिंग टू लेटिन ओस अकॉर्डिंग टू ग्रीक ऑस्टियोन सो देर आर सो मेनी वर्ड्स लाइक ऑसिफिकेशन ऑस्टियोमाइलाइटिस ऑस्टियोमलेसिया एट्सेट्रा ओके ऑल दिस वर्ड्स आर डिराइव फ्रॉम द दिस सिनोनिम्स ओके नाउ वी विल डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द डेफिनेशन ऑफ बॉन बॉन इज वन थर्ड कनेक्टेड टिश्यू इट इज इम्पेग्नेटेड विथ कैल्शियम सॉल्ट विच विच कंस्टिट्यूट टू थर्ड पार्ट द इनऑर्गेनिक कनेक्टेड टिश्यू कैल्शियम सॉल्ट मेक इट हार्ड एंड रिजिड whereas organic connective tissue make it tough and flexible so definition should be precise and how you will remember that i will give you hint okay you have to remember it in two phase one third and two third one it is bone is one third connective tissue whereas two third cal whereas two third cal it is uh, impregnated with the two third part of the calcium salt whereas organic connective tissue make it tough and flexible and inorganic make it hard and rigid okay so by this way one third connective tissue two third calcium salt and uh, its function uh, function like hard and rigidity tough and flexible you have to remember okay in strength bone is comparable to iron and steel okay now we will discuss regarding functions of the bone before going to discuss function here i i have highlighted some words to remember or to make you uh, make your uh, attention more on that word and it will be easy to remember at the time of exam okay like shape and support okay so bones give shape and support to the body and resist any form of the st- stress okay uh, it means bone give shape and support to the body uh, you might have seen many patients there uh, there will be uh, defect in that vertebral column like kyphosis lordosis etc jise hum khundni ke liye ise kehte hain okay so bone not only gives shape and support to the body but also add beauty to your body okay because it uh, causes dullness to your body okay then attachment like humerus femur tibia etc there there uh, it receives muscle Uh, as well as it gives attachment to the uh, muscle tendon ligament okay okay so there are many muscular and ligament and tendons attachment okay on the bony surface and this bone serve as a lever for the muscular action okay like neuromuscular coordination rehta hai okay jaise hi brain mus- uh, muscle ko aur bone ko message signal de karta hai message deta hai ke you have to uh, do like bowling writing jumping etc so that action will be occur like uh, brain ne jaise message diya ki you have to do bowling or writing anything okay then your hand will be uh, start writing okay so it serve as a lever for muscular action then protection as you know brain is situated located in the skull so uh, simply many times during the life we fall on the floor or we hitted by the ball while playing etc on the uh, skull so directly it not get injured okay so brain will not directly get injured and it is protected by the skull bony skull okay so so its main function is protection by this way spinal cord is protected by the vertebral column okay as well as uh, thoracic cage uh, which is formed by the ribs scapula etc it provides protection to the internal visceral organ then bone marrow manufactures blood cells as you know at the time of birth bone uh, bone is filled by the red bone marrow which forms the blood cells then it, it is filled by the yellow bone marrow okay it stores 97% of the body calcium and phosphorus bone marrow contains reticulo endothelial cells reticulo endothelial system that you will uh, learn in detail physiology okay physiology uh, subject but but here you have to remember bone marrow contains reticulo endothelial cells which are phagocytic in nature and take part in the immune responses of the body then 
लास्ट वन इज द लार्जर पेरा नेजल एयर साइनसेस अफेक्ट द टिम्बर ऑफ द वॉइस ओके सो बिफोर डिस्कसिंग दिस पॉइंट वॉट इज साइनसिस साइनसिस मीन्स एन एयर फील्ड विद इन एन एयर फील्ड केविटी विद इन अ पोन मतलब के फ्रंटल साइनस मेक्जरी साइनस इथमोडल साइनस एट्सेट्रा ओके सो यू माइट हैव सीन दैट देर इट देर विल बी डिफिकल्ट डिफेक्टिव और एबनॉर्मेलिटी इन द फेशियल मस बोन्स एज वेल एज देर मे बी एनी फ्रैक्चर इन द फेशियल बोन नियरर मैक्सिला एट्सेट्रा सो दैट पर्सन वॉइस विल बी डिफरेंट देन द नॉर्मल पर्सन ओके सो द लार्जर पेरानेजल एस एन एस एस अफेक्ट द टिम्बर ऑफ द वॉइस सो इट मेंटेन्स द रिदम ऑफ द वॉइस सो वी हैव सीन द फंक्शन लाइक शेप एंड सपोर्ट टू द बॉडी गिव्स अटैचमेंट लीवर्स फॉर द एक्शन प्रोटेक्शन देन फॉर्मिंग द ब्लड सेल्स कंटेन नाइन्टी सेवन परसेंट ऑफ द बॉडी कैल्शियम इम्यून रिस्पॉन्स एज वेल एज टिम्बर ऑफ द वॉइस ओके दिस इज द डायग्राम ऑफ द स्केलेटल सिस्टम दैट आई विल नॉट डिस्कस इन डिटेल बिकॉज दैट यू already you know humerus radius and la etc okay now division of the skeletal system okay uh, that we will discuss classification of bone axial and appendicular okay but uh, just uh, you have to remember the number and name of the some bones like uh, there are eight bones in the cranium 14 number uh, 14 bones in the face okay steps malleus incus uh, three on each side hyoid bone one okay ribs Twenty-four. Same. Now I will discuss directly carpal bones. Okay, because it can be asked in viva two marks, uh, name and number of the carpal bones as well as tarsal bones. So okay, okay. So carpal bones sixteen in number, metacarpal ten, phalanges twenty-eight. Same tarsal two reduce करना है हमें. So fourteen in number, metatarsal ten in number, and phalanges twenty-eight. By this way there are two not six. bones in the skeleton system skeleton of the body now we will discuss regarding main today's topic that is classification of the bone so first that is according to position second one according to size and shape then third one according to structure according to structure that is uh, gross and microscopic that is mistake here then last one that is according to development so first one according to position that i will discuss on the diagram according to position matlab axial the bones which are lies in the central axis of the body these are the axial bones like vertebra sacrum etc okay then appendicular the bones which are attached with the central axis matlab ke jo vertebra aur jo central axis mein jitne bone hai usko attach hai these are the appendicular bones these are the upper and lower limbs of the bones so according to position axial and appendicular bones second one is according to size and shape it means according to length and how its uh, shape so by this way there are numerous type that we will discuss in detail so according to size and shape long bone okay so where it is present that in upper and lower limbs okay uh, long bones are present in the upper and in lower limb it possesses three parts okay upper end and lower end matlab ke two expanded end as well as sharp okay then if we take the transection of the long bones we will find the hollow space in the center of the bone that is the medullary cavity okay as well as as we have pre- previously discussed it act as a lever for the action okay so long bone present in the uh, upper and lower limbs it possesses three parts upper and lower end okay uh, and uh, and gives attachment to the uh, muscle ligament and tendons okay and it has a medullary cavity then second one is short long bone and short bone third one is short bone okay short long okay matlab ke same rahegi condition uh, characteristics but size will be reduced same as the long bone a long bone but miniature in size and shape okay so example are metacarpal and phalanges metatarsal and phalanges okay third one is short bone short bones these are small polyhedral cuboidal in shape okay it increases compactness of the uh, joint okay 
but range of the movement is limited okay so it increases the compactness of the joint but range of the movement is limited these are the uh, carpal and tarsal bones example of the short bone okay then flat bones okay as you know here scapula it is the example of the flat bone it is expanded and plate like okay it is expanded and plate like and uh, it has extensive area for giving the attachment like above the spine and below the spine supraspinatus infraspinatal then teres minor major etc subscapularis it extensive area for the muscular attachment and as we have uh, seen the uh, function it gives protection to the internal visceral orbit irregular bone okay irregular bone I irregular it means irregular in general outline and do not fit in any about the categories okay vertebra hip bone so these are the example of the irregular bone okay it means it is uh, irregular in general out outline and do not fit in any about the categories which we have discussed like short bone long bone flat bone etc now we will discuss pneumatic bone okay pneumatic certain irregular bones contain large air spaces lined by the epithelium okay as we have discussed air sinuses uh, sinus frontal sinus maxillary sinus okay so certain irregular bones contain large air spaces lined by epithelium they make the skull light in weight help in resonance of voice and act as a air conditioning chamber of the inspired air example maxilla here you can see maxilla sphenoid and ethmoid bone okay so these are the pneumatic bone pneumatic bone irregular bone contain large air spaces lined by the epithelium or uska function kya hai it make the uh, skull light in weight help in resonance of voice that we have discussed timber of the voice and act as a air conditioning chamber same sinuses frontal sinus ethmoidal sinus sphenoidal sinus and maxillary sinus many times due to severe rhinitis there may be the sinusitis and due to the sinusitis there will be the headache okay so remember during the uh, this type of the patient okay now sesamoid okay sesam sesam it word mean meaning is seed like okay so this is the diagram of the uh, knee joint okay sesamoid bones sesam means uh, seed like okay so sesam sesamoid bones gen, uh, it looks like bony nodules okay matlab like ke seed jaise ho gaye patella is the largest sesamoid bone okay that is the exception sesamoid bone patella is the largest sesamoid bone it is the bony nodules okay which are embedded or found in the joint capsule of the bone okay or the joint here as uh, example of the patella that is found in the knee joint okay now another its function as well as its peculiarity it has no haversian canal uh, it ossifies after birth as well as uh, it has no periosteum okay so once again it looks like bony nodules it is found in the bon uh, bony joint or capsules it has no periosteum no haversian canal and ossify after birth this question can be asked in mcq so remember it now we will discuss its function okay as we know this uh, this uh, this is the diagram of the knee joint lower end of the femur upper end of the tibia fibula in green color that is the patella okay so it resists the pressure matlab like, jo kuch bhi femur ke lower end se pressure uh, upper end of the tibia or fibula pe aayega it will decrease the pressure okay as well as it will minimize the friction okay as well as it increase the local circulation okay first one simply you can uh, easily able to know that reduces the pressure friction it increases the local action as well as act as pulley for muscle contraction okay so ye char uske function yaad rakhne hai aapko it can be asked for two marks separately accessory bones bones are not always present accessory okay otherwise supernumerary these are not always present but this may occur as a ununited epiphysis developed from the extra center of the 
ossification okay here uh, you can see the accessory bones on united epiphyseal uh, epiphysis ossification center example is the fifth metatarsal tuberosity okay in medical legal these are uh, accessory bones not always present uh, in each and uh, every individual and it occurs due to ununited here epiphysis means ends of the bones okay so it occurs due to ununited epiphysis uh, developed from the extra centers of the ossification example you have to remember tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal bone uh, medical legal importance is accessory bones may be mistaken for the fracture however these are the often bilateral and have a smooth surface without any callus now heterotopic okay uh, heterotopic means abnormal place okay so bones sometimes develop in soft tissue horse riders develops bones in the adductor muscles okay that is known as riders bones okay so uh, professional horse riders there may be chances to develop the riders bones horse riders bones due to this uh, position of the leg okay uh, flexion semi flexion of the leg as well as uh, back of the uh, horse it will continuously friction with each other so due to continuously friction uh, among them there will be uh, bony nodule will be separated uh, uh, by the adductor longus muscle and it will be uh, separated nodules of the bone will be known as the adductor uh, sorry rider's muscle which is developed in the adductor longus muscle okay so that is the heterotopic bone so once again i would uh, like to repeat all the uh, all the classification first we have discussed that is according to position then according to size and shape long bone short uh, short long short then flat then irregular then uh, heterotopic accessory etc okay now we will discuss uh, according to structure according to structure you have to remember cst compact spongy and diploid okay compact the outer cortical part of the long bone which is hard and has a homogeneous appearance that is compact bone okay the outer cortical part of the long bone which is hard and has a homogeneous appearance that is considered in the compact bone spongy sponge like okay cancellous bone the inner part of the bone here you can see uh, which has minute pores like structure okay the ends of the long bone that is the example of the spongy bone the inner part of the bone which is less hard and the presence the spongy appearance flat short irregular bones and end of the long bones these are the example of the spongy it means then uh, deep plate bone deep plate mean consists of the inner and outer tables of the compact bone with an intervening porous layer which is occupied by the spongy substance consisting of the bone marrow and diploic mold it means uh, we have seen compact bone that is hard in nature or uh, homogeneous structure with the bone okay spongy that is the uh, sponge like porous structure okay that is seen in the uh, ends of the long bones okay whereas in the diploic bone outer and inner outer and inner table which will be the compact in nature and intermediate uh, structure will be the accompanied by the or it is filled with, uh, with the spongy bone okay uh, that is considered in as a diploic bone in short outer and inner structure will be the compact in nature and intermediate structure will be the spongy bone that is considered in the diploic bone example is the most of the cranial bones now according to developmental classification uh, you have to remember three membranous ossification cartilaginous ossification and membrano cartilage cartilaginous ossification okay so uh, membranous ossification uh, developmental classification according to membrane uh, membranous bones ossify in membrane examples bones of the vault of the skull and facial bones these are the uh, examples of the membranous ossification then cartilaginous bones ossify in cartilage the bone which is formed from the endochondral ossification 
example spawns of the limb vertebral column and thoracic cage then third one is membrano cartilaginous ossifer uh, bones this matlab partly in membrane and partly in cartilage bones which are ossified partly in membrane and partly in cartilage these are the example like clavicle mandible occipital temporal and sphenoid are the examples of the membrano cartilaginous bone so according to development classic classification you have to remember bones which are developed from the membrane bones which are developed from the cartilaginous and bones which are partly developed from the membrane and cartilaginous these are the uh, classification according to development now somatic bones S most of the bones are the somatic soma which is related with the body okay so most of the bones are the somatic visceral bones this developed from the pharyngeal arch pharyngeal arch that is the one of the uh, topic uh, during intrauterine life or uh, of, uh, topic of the embryology so pharyngeal arch may say jo bones develop hote that is the uh, considered in the visceral bones examples are the hyoid bones part of the mandible and ear ossicles these are the examples of the visceral bones here we have finished uh, according to structure and developmental classification now we will discuss regarding uh, based on the microscopic structure lamellar v1 fibrous uh, dentin and cement okay so you have to remember lamellar bone okay lamellar bone these are seen in the adult okay mature human bone uh, mature human these are seen in the adult Uh, persons okay first what is lamellae lamellae are the thin plate like structures which are arranged in the proper manner so here you can see the lamellar bone round 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 okay so all the lamellae are uh, arranged in the proper manner so it is known as lamellar bone in the one lamella are dis uh, disarranged okay मतलब कि एक प्रॉपरली मैनर में अरेंज नहीं है सो इट इज नॉन एज वन एंड इट गिव्स एज द वन फैब्रिक अपीरेंस ऑफ द वन फैब्रिक सो इट इज कंसिडर इन दुवन बोन एंड इट इज सीन इन द डेवलपमेंटल कंडीशन एज वेल एज इन द रिपेयरिंग कंडीशन ऑफ द फ्रैक्चर ओके लेमिलर बोन डिज सीन इन द मेच्योर ह्यूमन बोन्स लेमिला आर अरेंज ऑर्डरली whereas in one found uh, found in the young fetal bone callus at the site of the fracture healing disorderly arrange lamellae and the lamellae form an irregular network and give appearance of the one fabric so it is known as one bone then fibrous bone fibrous bone is found in the young fetal bones but are common in reptiles and amphibia okay this is the diagram of the fibrous bone of the young fetal bones okay so young uh, fibrous bone found in the young fetal bone as well as in the reptiles and amphibia then dentin uh, that is yellow tissue that makes up the bulk of the teeth here you can see dentin that is yellow tissue that makes the bulk of the teeth it is harder than bone but softer than the enamel and consist mainly of the epitite crystals of calcium and phosphate okay cement occur in teeth okay just remember that uh, that zinc phosphate was very first dental cement to appear on the dental marketplace and is seen as the standard of for other dental cements to be compared to do compared to the many used uh, of this cement include permanent cementation of crown matlab ke these are the matlab uh, ke dentist uh, dent uh, procedures permanent cementation of the crowns orthodontic appliances intra oral splints inlays post system and fixed partial dentures cement is matlab ke this uh, in the procedure of the uh, dentist okay uh, re related with the teeth okay these cements are use uh, orthodontic appliances intra oral splints etc cement is often used to protect the pulp matlab ke uh, cement here which uh, it will protect the pulp of the tooth when decay is getting too close and starts putting the tooth in jeopardy okay cement is matlab ke uska function aapko yaad rakhna hai it is often used to protect the pulp of a tooth when decay is getting too close and starts putting the tooth in jeopardy an experienced dentist can strategically place a dental cement on areas of tooth that will protect the pulp from the 
infection okay so this is the diagram of the cement which is filled in the teeth okay periphery of the teeth so this was regarding the classification according to the microscopic structure so we have seen according to microscopic structure uh, first lamellar matlab ke jo lamellae are arranged in proper manner seen in the mature hu human bones this one lamellae are not properly arranged seen in the young fetal and a repairing condition fracture fibrous bone seen in the young fetal amphibia and reptiles dentite that is yellow tissue that makes the bone uh, tooth strong cement occur zinc phosphate ye kyaad rakhna hai as well as it protects the pulp of the tooth when decay is getting too close okay at the end which type of the question can be asked for the 10 marks describe the types of the bone along with the figures okay that can be asked for 10 marks 5 marks axial skeleton appendicular skeleton axis bone ossification that is not considered here uh, that we will discuss in the next uh, topic and describe the structure of the long bone upper uh, write the number 2 marks there are the uh, this slide indicates the uh, question can be asked for the 2 marks okay so again 2 marks question okay